this is the aftermath of the bookshelf tour. I am sweating, my mascara is running, and I'm shaking. Hey everyone, it's me Carol. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome if you're new here. Today I have a super exciting video because I'm finally filming the long-awaited bookshelf tour. You guys have been asking for a bookshelf tour for forever and I finally got around to filming it so hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Before we get started I do want to answer a couple questions I know I'll be getting. So first of all where did I get my shelves? I actually can't answer this question because I didn't buy them from Ikea or Target. These were built for our apartment when we moved in. My dad and mom wanted us to have a bookshelf and it was a very limited space. So we actually had this built for our apartment, so I can't tell you where to buy them exactly. So I'm really sorry about that. The second question is, why do I own so many books? I'm a bookworm, a book lover. Books are my hobbies, my passion. I love to read and I've been collecting books since I was a baby. That's why I have so many books and why I own so many books. And also I share my bookshelves with my sisters. So we have like double the amount of a normal person, if that makes sense. <laughs> the third question I know I'll be getting, why do you have books that are not written in English? I'm an international booktuber. I do speak other languages other than English. So I speak Portuguese, German, and Spanish. I do have a lot of books in Portuguese. That's why there are some books that are not in English. <laughs> First question, are you doing this to brag or show off? Not at all. This was highly requested, so I really wanted to do this bookshelf tour. I'm just here to give you maybe some ideas of how to organize your own bookshelves. And the last question, how do you organize your bookshelves? I organize them by genre and aesthetic. Some books are organized by genre, so I have like a thriller shelf, a fantasy shelf, and some are organized by aesthetic or size, so whatever just fits together works for me. <laughs> Ooh, also, my bookshelves are different from the last time you saw it. I decided to reorganize them for this video, so I do have some new books on my shelves. And if you want to see how they were looking before, either check out my newest video or my bookshelf reorganization video. I'll link that in the cards and down below. But yeah, let's do this. <laughs> lights these are actually Christmas lights that I glued on with some duct tape and I bought these at a local shop they were really cheap and the coolest thing about them is that here on the side there's like a little remote and if I touch it it changes the speeds of the lights I love that so much <laughs> Okay, so this is my first shelf. This is my sister's shelf, actually. It's where we keep all of her fantasy books. So let me talk about the knickknacks first before we get started. We have over here a cute bulldog. I actually don't know where we got this from, but it's cute. <laughs> we have three Funko Pops. We have Sansa, Jon Snow, and Khaleesi from Game of Thrones. Me and my sister love that show a lot, and Jon Snow is our favorite character. Fun fact. And the coolest thing about the shelf for me is this drawing back here. This is actually my sister's drawing. She um, decided to recreate our thumbnail for one of our videos and she drew that, which looks so cute. It actually has my ring light here. That's why it looks kind of weird, but it's such, it's such a cute drawing. I love it so much and it just makes our bookshelf a little bit more personal. Uh, and over here on our books, I don't actually know what the best book is because I haven't read any of these, but <laughs> we do have a Barnes & Noble edition of Children of Virtue and Vengeance. So pretty. This is our first shelf. You guys almost don't see it on my videos because it's so far up. <laughs> my thriller bookshelf. This is one of my favorites. So a little knickknacks as well. We have a little Pennywise Funko Pop. He is super cute. I love him. We have this little pin I bought at Barnes Noble that says, Freedom Books, Flowers in the Moon, Who Cannot Be Happy. It's a quote by Oscar Wilde. And this was my um, grandma's gift. 
It's like a little owl on top of books. It's one of my favorites. And here is like an internet thing, so we just ignore that. It's a Wi-Fi thing. A lot of my favorite books are actually on the shelf, but if I had to give a highlight, I would talk about Natasha Preston. I have some of her books here. She's such an underrated thriller author. So I have The Twin, The Lost, You Will Be Mine, Awake. Ooh, what happened there? <laughs> And the seller, but no one talks about her, so I would definitely recommend you pick it up. And also, this is a book that I just got in the mail. It's called The One. I bought this because Haley from Haley Hughes and Kirsten from Kirsten's Corner both had this book in their best books of 2020, so I had to pick it up. It sounds amazing. And yeah, so this is my thriller shelf. Going one shelf down, this is my YA thrillers. I love how this looks. Usually thrillers have such dark co colors in their covers and spines. So my thriller shelf always looks so depressing, but I finally have my Pretty Little Liars books on display here and it just makes it look so much happier and, and fun. So I love that. I'm talking about the little Funko Pops I have. I have a Coraline doll. She's one of my favorites too. She's so cute. And I think it matches the YA. This is one of my best finds, actually. I was in a used bookstore slash thrift store, and I found Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story for $3. If you didn't know, American Horror Story is one of my all-time favorite series. So this, this is how he looks. He's so cute. I have a little Hot Topic button with normal people scare me on it. Some of them were my least favorites of the year, but I still keep them here as their YA. I have to give a shout out for this one. It's a signed edition and I got it on Target for 20% off as well. So, talking about Pretty Little Hires again, I love these two editions that I have because they're the covers from the TV show which looks stunning. Oh, I love him. This looks so weird. Why is this so huge? What? Can you see it? It looks so... Like, this is how a normal one looks. And this is how she looks. It's so funny to me. What? Anyway. <laughs> I love it with all of my heart. It's so cute. <laughs> Here, I have one of my favorite Funko Pops. This is Bellatrix from Harry Potter. I love this Funko so much. Here I have a plushie from the Demogorgon. I love it. It looks like a little flower. It doesn't look creepy or scary and he's so cuddly. Here is more of a random thrillers. Like the thrillers that didn't fit up there are now here. But these are all Portuguese thrillers. Um, here I have a little Kylo Ren bubblehead Funko Pop. He's so cute. I actually bought this right after seeing the last Star Wars movie. I fell in love with Kylo and I was like, I need him. And I just have some pineapples here. <laughs> They're kind of random, but. I have my It cover, which is so fun. I love this one. <gasps> Doesn't it look fun? I like, I love it. They are all so, so amazing. I specifically love Bird Box, The Butterfly Garden by Doug Hutchinson. Fetish by Tara Moss. That's my final thriller shelf. I have my Harry Potter shelf. This is where I keep my sister's old books of Harry Potter. They're previewed up, as you can tell. And I organized it with my Funko Pops in like a colorful way. I have a little keychain version of Big Me Puff. So that's cute. And I have this that I bought when I went to Universal. This is a little um, potion draught of peace and it has like a blue liquid inside. You're actually supposed to put this in the water to add flavor, but I thought it was so cute that I didn't do it and now it's old. <laughs> Hair powder played a big part in our childhood, so I'm not gonna get rid of these Funko Pops and these books because they mean a lot to us. But I don't agree with what JK Rowling said and I don't think we should support her as an author. <laughs> This is one of my favorite shelves. So I include some of my interests that I don't mention a lot on my booktube channel, but I feel like this is such a cute way to incorporate them on my channel and my bookshelf. Over here, we have a Team Logan button. When I went to visit the set of Gilmore Girls, we actually got this for free, which was so fun. And yeah, so you might not know, but I am completely obsessed with Gilmore Girls. This book thing is actually a like, 
thing to hold your books together, but I think it just looks so cute on its own. Back here on our O, we have two Simpson figurines. I love Simpsons. I don't mention it enough on my channel. I love Simpsons. And it's the cutest thing ever because Bart is holding his little crusty flag and shirt. And Lisa has books on her hand. Back here, I have two of my most precious things I own. My rubber ducks. <laughs> These were actually a gift from my aunt, so I love you guys so much. Thank you for this. They bought this when they went to Germany, and it's so cute. So this one is from Viva Lu Machtewelt Bunta, and that's the little slogan and the store. And this is a little like nerd rubber duck. He's holding a little book, and he has like glasses. And this is a Shakespeare duck but it actually says to quack or not to quack. It's adorable, I love it, So I love him so much. He has like a little feather and he's just so cute. And it makes sense to be in my like shelves because they both relate to books. And this one is from Yarto. I used to have a rubber duck obsession when I was little, so this is perfect. The books that I have on the shelves are my a a series of fortunate events Netflix covers. I absolutely love A Series of Fortune Events. It was the series that got me into reading, so I had to have a shelf dedicated to them. I follow Lemony Snicket or Daniel Handler on his Instagram, and he posted that he was doing signed editions on a website. If you just looked it up and purchased it, he would sign it for you, and you could get like him to sign a custom message for you, which is insane, and obviously I had to do it. So I got it on the first book because it's one of my favorites of the series, and when you open it, this is so cool. He signed it and left a message for me and my sister. So he said to Carol and Effie, two future orphans. If you know his humor, that's definitely it. And wow, it just means a lot to me that I get have this on my shelves. I love it. I think my favorite cover, it's probably the Austria Academy. These are all of the illustrated ones. So I had the first book, the second, and the history of magic. So let's talk about the little Funko Pops and knickknacks. I have Jeannie in her little Yule Ball dress, which is everything. I love this Funko. We also have Luna. She looks so cute. And we have Neville, which is my favorite character from Harry Potter. <laughs> and he's holding the monster book. So I thought that was just adorable and I needed to have him. Here I have two empty pumpkin juice bottles. So when we went to Universal, both me and my sister tried it out. We actually ended up not liking the taste of it, but we had to bring it home. So don't worry, it doesn't have anything inside. It's clean, but it just looks so pretty on our shelves. And here we have a collector, collector's piece of Harry Potter. So it's the collectible Quidditch set with poster. I bought this in Amazon, I think, a long time ago. You open it up and have all the um, Quidditch things. You can actually take them out of the box, which is super fun. They're like heavy. And I just love to put this in display. It has all of the houses down here. So this is where I keep most of my classics. So I have I Love Lucy, the factory edition, and I think it matches the classic vibe so well. I have Betty from Riverdale in her little old costume and it just looks so cute. And I have Bob Ross. Like, how could I not buy him? He's adorable. Here I keep some of my pretty additions. So I have this wonderful Handmaid's Tale hardcover with um, red sprayed edges. It looks so pretty. I had to have it. So I actually have two Barnes & Noble pretty editions. I have Wuthering Heights and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland through and Through the Looking Glass. I absolutely love this Lolita edition as well. It's the 50th anniversary. It's so different. And over here with Bob Ross, I keep some very special editions. I have the Little Prince, and I also have Little Women, the Collector's Library. It also has sprayed edges. And I have this beautiful Emma from Jane Austen edition as well. So I have Mary Poppins here, and I also have Mabel from Gravity Falls. I have my poetry collection, so I have Girl after girl after girl. The princess saves herself in this one. The mermaid's voice returns in this one. The witch doesn't burn in this one. Every word you cannot say. 
and Brothers on Life, which is actually a book that Logan from Gilmore Girls wrote. I actually have more poetry down here. I have, I have Milk and Honey, which I did not enjoy. Swimming Lessons by Lily Reinhardt and Pillow Thoughts, which is one of my favorites. I also have another edition of the Oster Academy. So over here I have another shelf that's so aesthetic. Over here I have all of my Funko Pops that are holding books. Topanga from Boy Meets World, which I think kind of looks like me. Barb from Stranger Things, and Sandy from Grease, which looks like my sister. And then down here I just have like a black ball. I can't describe it, just a black ball. <laughs> I have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children stacked. And on top of it, we have like a little owl. I have a Luke's mug, which I got when I went to the set as well, where I keep all of my um, bookmarks. It's full, so yeah. I love the shelf a lot. Dubby and Pyjama Harry. Hot Topic exclusive Hermione with her little potion. Hedwig and the love potion that I bought when I went to Universal. A chocolate frog pin and the time turner. And then down here I have the Tales of Beetle the Bard and Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and this little empty box which I thought just looked cute. <laughs> here she keeps most of her dystopians. So we have Scythe, Maze Runner, Renegades. I am number four, Stung, The Host and The Passage series. I also, to keep in the, like, the dystopian mood, we have I think her name's Emir. I'm sorry, this is my sister's Funko. And we have Jack Sparrow with another sword too. He's one of my favorites. The cool thing about the shelf is we have a signed edition of the Fever Code. We pre-ordered it and it came signed. Isn't that fun? But I do think it was just like printed, which sucks, but I want to pretend he hand wrote it. <laughs> So this next shelf has my sister's favorite series too. So we have Throne of Glass by Sarah G. Mass and The Land of Stories by Chris Colfer. And the Funko Pops we have here are all from Big Bang Theory. So we have Howard with his little spacesuit, Leonard with his robe and sarcasm sign, and Sheldon doing the Spock sign. Where we just keep books that fit together. So over here we have Friends Funko Pops. Joey with all of Chandler's clothes. Rachel back when she was in high school. And Chandler when he was back in high school. I love this one. <laughs> and we also have a little Polaroid of me and my sister when we were um, in Universal. As you can see, we have like the little Hogwarts castle back here. And if you shake it up, it has like cute little glitters. But I think the most special thing on the shelf is this book actually. It has a whole backstory to it that I'm gonna tell right now. This is Das Hosi Projekt from Good I Miss Simpson. This is a German book. I was actually called in by my teacher who used to teach us German in school to do a presentation in front of the whole school. And as a thank you after I did it, this is so cute. Like he didn't need to do this. He actually gifted me and my sister this book. So it just meant a lot to me that he did this. So um, he wrote, Für Fernanda und Carol, viel Spaß beim Lesen, Herr Host. And it was back in 2017. So he just basically says, for me and my sister, I hope you have fun reading this. It's just amazing. And this is a book that I'm gonna treasure forever. Over here I have Mad Hatter. I obviously have to keep him in the shelf because he's a classic. I have a candle I bought from Target. And this adorable Noble plushie, it's from Barnes & Noble and it just talks about how Barnes & Noble was created, so I had to buy him. From these, my favorite is probably The Wizard of Oz. It's absolutely beautiful and it has green edges. How cool is that? I love this so, so much. Alice is also really, really beautiful. The Mad Hatter, cute. Season 311 wearing her shopping mall clothes. Also Max. And the only Chase I own that's um, Eleven with her blonde wig from the first season. Over here to this side, I have a cute octopus I bought from Amazon. I just wanted a pink octopus. So there are some random books here that are probably like, what? I've never heard you talk about it. I'm talking about this one. Um, okay, don't judge me, but I used to be obsessed with um, Dance Moms when I was little. And when I saw this, I, I couldn't. This is a autographed edition of Maddie Ziegler's The Audition. I'm never gonna read this. 
So I had to buy it. This is just random, but I had to. This is also a really cool one. This was gifted to me by my sister for this Christmas. I'm completely obsessed with Timothy Chalamet. So she bought me the Call Me By Your Name book with him on the cover and his name's on it. It just fangirl moment, I know. <laughs> As I'm a fan of Gilmore Girls, I have um, all of Lauren Graham's books. So I have Talking As Fast As I Can, which is her biography, which I read. And then I have Someday, Someday Maybe, which I haven't read yet. And in conclusion, don't worry about it, which I have read. So yeah, this was my contemporary shelf that I shared with my sister. And over here we have Jughead with his little South Side Serpents jacket. And, and Betty with her little um, Jughead shirt. <laughs> so we have Fifth Wave, My Virgin, The Hundred, The Hunger Games. And over here, I'm so proud of these. I actually made these little things. So I'm obsessed with air dry clay. And I've been making like jewelry like this and earrings, but I decided to go with sculptures, if you want to call it that. So I have Hedwig that I made for my sister. I have a mushroom and he has a little butt. I love him. And a cowboy frog. I just love him. I guess, do you guys want to see the Hunger Games? Probably, let me take it out. This is the Hunger Games reflective one that is like this special edition. And then I, I also own the movie cover, hard covers. So all the books that meant a lot to me and my sister when we were little. So this is one of my favorite things from the shelf. I bought it at Universal as well. They have like a Dr. Seuss world. It's a snow globe. Why did I shake it like that? And it's so cute, it has all of their books and kind of the hat. And over here, I have a bear that my dad bought me and when it hits the sun, it creates rainbows. And I have two Funko Pops from Dr. Seuss. I used to have this tradition that whenever I went to Universal, I would buy one of Dr. Seuss books and I got up to four of them. But then it was getting too expensive and my mom was like, let's just buy the big chunky one, which is this one. And I love it so much. It can't even fit on the frame. It has all of his stories. This what used to be my favorite when I was little. Let me know down below if you guys read this when you were little. In English, it's called Bad Kitty Gets a Bath. Let me know down below if you used to read, read this. This was my favorite book when I was little. It's actually super beat up, but this was my favorite. So let me know down below if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I actually don't even want you to see the shelf. It's a mess, so please ignore it. It's um, a empty shelf where I'm gonna put my future books. So far over here, I have just two books, which are my Accord of Books book picks. So I have All Like One for Christmas and Buy the Book. I actually need to buy the ones in Future Witches. I don't have a physical copy of it, but I hope to fill this book with only Accord of Books picks. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. And over here, I keep the rest of my bookmarks in this little Butterbeer cup that I bought and Universal as well. And then down here, I have the big Dr. Seuss, Complete History of Secret Organizations. This is like, it's a companion book to the A Series of Fortunate Events Netflix show. A lot of behind the scenes and information about the characters. So I love it so, so much. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If yes, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe down below to be part of this wonderful family. I would love to have you here. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.